looking for something that was fairly specific. I was um, wanting to find a place that was Catholic and had Catholic education or at least Catholic foundation, but I was really interested in a philosophy degree. And, um, and so I've been looking and, you know, there's a lot of great philosophy programs. There's um, a lot of theology programs and there's distance learning theology programs. Um, but uh, St. Bernard's was the uh, first place that I had found that actually put those two things together and had a uh, Catholic philosophy program. And so the very first thing that kind of drew me there um, compared to all the places that I was looking at was just the idea that there was a Catholic philosophy program. The classes at St. Bernard's were described in a completely unique way. They uh, looked at philosophy from a completely different disposition as opposed to like this um, uh, looking at things from a historical standpoint and then just going through the timeline of philosophy and just an introduction to concepts as you went through um, you know time it was like we wanted to talk about what did it mean to be a human person and that was the center point of it and then we were going to look through all of time around the center point of being a human person and what did that mean? Second thing is, um, you know, I had the, uh, the, a lot of the classes that are out there, a lot of the programs uh, that are out there, they have either in-person learning um, or they have, they have uh, distance learning and the distance learning is an asynchronous learning where you um, log in, you can look at lectures. There's actually no interaction. Uh, St. Bernard's has, um, it, it's, it's, it's truly like you're, uh, you have the opportunity to be in class. You know, Dr. Stengo actually, um, you know, he's a philosopher, right? He has, he's, he definitely, you know, it, uh, comes across like a, a real philosopher, okay? <laughs> he's a quintessential <laughs> philosopher. <and laughs> yeah. Yes, he is. But, but he's amazing with the technology. So I can see all the people that are Zooming in at the same time. Yeah. And then I can see all of the people that are in the class. And so we're all there as a class. He asks a question, anybody can answer it. And you will be able to see how people are responding to that. And then another person can respond, you know, to that. And, and then it will be, let's say an online person will respond. And that uh, inter interchange, because of the way that the technology works, where he'll zoom back and see the whole classroom, and then he'll zoom and see just him and he'll be talking, you know, that um, kind of works perfectly because you feel like you're in a classroom really talking with these people. The and ability for me to participate in a live classroom with students and be able to like, you know, kind of hear what the students are saying, not just an instructor is, is just incredible. Um, the interaction with people is what makes something like philosophy or theology, um, you know, incredibly useful. And just taking it another step further is um, that the questions that come then out of that environment, not only do you hear what students say, but it also then um, inspires Dr. Stango to say things that he might not have said if he was just uh, in a recording. And that moment would not have come up if I was just listening to, to a recording. And it sent me down a whole path, actually the path that I'm now going to do my um, kind of like some final paper on for the class, the summation of the whole class is on just a tangent that happened in, in, in one of our classes. And having a, a connected system, um, it engages you in the material in a different way. The thinking is an important part of what you're doing and a synchronous environment where you're engaged with people, then, you know, it demands your attention and allows you to then think deeply. And so for a period of three hours, you know, you're engaged in this, in this one 
uh, set of uh, thoughts and uh, allows you to go, you know, deep into, into that. And um, I, I think that's a, you know, a substantial difference between a synchronous and an asynchronous program. You know, one of the things that's really unique about the program is, um, you know, so there are a group of people that are local and those people um, are in the classroom and then the other people that are in the class are literally around the world. We have a person that's from Guam that is uh, that lives there right now that is in our class. Um, I'm in Indiana, you know. Um, the rest of the people spread around uh, the country, uh, United States. And so we bring a set of dispositions that is unique that you could not get, you know, if you did not have something like um, a distance uh, education. So we have together um, people that are at different stages of life, that have wide backgrounds um, of experiences, and then, you know, a geographic disposition. And so you bring all those things together. And in something like, again, philosophy and theology, like we've talked about, you know, we're taking classes not just to get the degree, but we're taking classes. This is about life. This is about, you know, I mean, I'm able to add, hopefully, the experiences of my whole life and, and add that to the conversation, as is the rest of the people and um, that are in the class. And so we um, have this kind of, you know, diversity that you could never bring together, um, you know, for three hours a week and into a program where, you know, we're all there together learning. The idea of understanding things, um, the way that you think when you go about trying to understand something um, is very much in line with philosophy. And so um, learning how the most, you know, brilliant people through all of time have thought about the biggest problems, how they've gone about understanding them um, is what is so interesting to me. So for me to be able to um, learn about how people have understood themselves and those questions then helps me to be able to turn around for my own life and think about, um, you know, and try to understand, you know, my own life and the, the world that we live in. And, you know, just trying to think about how to be an influence, a positive influence on the people that are in my life, my family, the people that I um, am closely associated with, um, my friends, uh, my um, uh, church, the, the, my workplace, all of these people are the people that I come in contact with and are I'm some sort of an influence on them, like they're an influence on me. Um, but my ability to understand, um, you know, what we are and who we are and so forth, I think then gives me a better ability to be, um, to be someone who can lead people back to the church, not in the way of just saying, you know, um, here's what Catholicism is and, you know, and, and this, but like trying to understand um, what a human person is, is just a, is a great example, you know, understanding what a human person is, the difference of man and what that means is substantial. And, and, you know, if in a just general conversation, I'm able to, um, you know, you know, lead people through a more thorough understanding of that, that just might provide a spark that um, leads somebody to ask some more questions of themselves. And then, you know, that line of thinking, you know, uh, leads them, you know, on a, on a path back to the church. And um, I think so for myself, you know, being able to, um, you know, I have a, just a strong desire to understand, to know that, um, to know that history so that then I can understand, um, you know, how to, how to think better.
you know, there's three classes this semester, uh, three next semester, and like I want to take all of them, you know, but you know, I have reasons why, you know, I can only take one, but they're all, you know, so interesting. Um, like, I don't think I really understood the impact of what that hybrid learning environment would be, you know, I mean, it's like, a, it's like an actual classroom and my learning in, you know, the, the first three or four months is just way beyond anything, you know, that I would have thought. Um, yeah. So my, I've been, uh, you know, my expectations have just been blown away here in the, uh, in the first, uh, first set of classes. That's